In this video, we're going to learn how to do the single plated square or single braid. And it looks like when you braid a ponytail or something like that, that's what the cable looks like, a braid. And in this square, you're going to have four columns of braid. And what you're going to need for this is, you're, of course, you're going to need the pattern, which I have in the link below the video. You're going to need about two and a half ounces of medium worsted weight yarn. And um, that's what I have here in gray. But you can use whatever color you like. In lighter colors, you seem to be able to see the cables better. So I recommend you use a lighter color. But play with it and see what you like. Um, you're also going to need a size I or 9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And the gauge is 14 single crochet and 16 rows equal 4 inches. The gauge is only important if you care that your square is going to be a 10 by 10 square. And so, it, but if you're just learning the technique, just use whatever gauge you're comfortable with. Um, stitches are in U.S. terminology. Um, there's some special post stitches, which is front post double crochet and front post, front post treble, which I can never say right. And the stitch repeat, if you want to make it wider, is a multiple of 8 plus 5. All even rows are single crochet rows, and you skip the stitches behind the post stitches again. Just like we did in the other squares, there will be these little ridges on the back of your work. And that is the introduction for this square. So we're going to get started, and you grab your crochet hook and your yarn. Okay, starting with the slip knot, and you're going to chain 37. And I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me chain 37. Pause it here, make your chain, and we'll get back to the first row. All right, I've chained my 37, and just like I did in other squares, but this one might be the first one you're looking at. I have to let you know, though, that I put these squares up in order of difficulty. I believe this is the most difficult of the four that I've done so far. So um, you might want to go back and, and start with the um, first one of the series that I've done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet in the back loop of the chain so that we will get this little V edge. So it's a nice finished edge on your work and it will match the finished edge on the other end. And this is just a matter of preference for me. So what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet in that second chain. So you see the chains are like V's and there's the second. You flip it over and that bump on the back or the loop on the back of the chain. You go into that and draw up a loop and you make a single crochet. And work all the way across until you have 36 single crochet. And I will meet you to begin row two. All right, now we have finished row one by working in the back loop of the chain. You should have 36 single crochet. So now row two and all the even rows are going to be the same. We're going to chain one. I always chain one before I turn. It just is easier for me. And then single crochet in each single crochet across. So you just insert your hook, and draw up a loop, yarn over, and draw through two. I'm going to zoom in just a little so you can see my work a little better. There we go. And you, it's, with working in single crochet it's easy to find where you put your hook because you have these little horizontal loops and you stick your hook right between those. And drop your loop and single crochet. So work across row two and I will see you at the end when we're ready to start row three. All right, I've finished row two, now let's do row through. three. I'm going to chain one and turn the work. And for row three we're going to start with single crochet and three single crochet. So we're going to go one, 
two, three. Now we're going to front post double crochet in the next six stitches two rows below. So we're going to find the next six stitches by skipping the first three because we've worked three. So count one, two, three, and this is your fourth stitch. So you yarn over your hook, insert the hook on the right side of your stitch and bring it back up on the left side and then you draw up a loop you yarn over and draw through two yarn over and draw through two and that's how you make your front post double crochet and we're going to do that six times so we're going to yarn over again insert the hook around that stitch draw up a loop through two and through two and make six of those and I will see you when we get those done. Okay, now there's six of them. You can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to single crochet in the next two single crochet. Well, we have all these back here that we skipped, so we need to make sure we get the next two and not go into one that we've skipped. So let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to put my left thumb on the seventh one that I'm going to work in. Make sure your yarn's behind your hook and then insert your hook there, drop the loop, and make your single crochet. And then we're going to make another single crochet, and that's my single crochet in two. And then we are going to repeat from the star three more times. So that would be doing your front post double crochet in the next six again. So we're going to have to skip these two here and front post double crochet in the next one. Like so. And make six again. And do that so that, you know, six, two, six, two all the way across until we get to the end and I will see you down there worked all the way across. I did six two, six front posts, two singles, six front posts, two singles, six front posts, and then this is repeat. I'm supposed to do two more single. Make sure you skip the six behind it, and then you do the two single, and then it says to single crochet in the last single crochet, because on each end you have three instead of two. Okay, insert the hook. Sometimes that last stitch slants, so you gotta make sure you get both of those loops. Draw up the loop and draw through two. So that's three single crochet on each end. There's six front post double crochet in four sections divided by two single crochets. And that's the end of row three. Row four, we're gonna chain one and turn and single crochet in each stitch across the row. And we will do the next video starting with row five. See you there.